Okay, I want you guys to uh, see, so this isn't confusing. This is the Woshin KG935G. And I'm going to show you how the bands work. And the area A and area B are scan groups, whatever you want to call them. You have your top area here and your bottom area, A and B, group A, group B. Um, area A, area B. So this button right here says band on it. Band is on the top band, which is highlighted in large text. You press band, again, it's going to highlight the bottom band, area B, in um, highlighted text. So you can go back and forth. Press top, bottom, top, bottom, right? You scan with the top, with the, um, the channel button at the top of the radio here, just right here. And then uh, you can change from there, or you can go, you can go, push your arrows, right? And then if you go to band, you can do that same thing with the bottom. There's lots of flexibility there. Um, and then you go to scan. Say you want to scan the top. Um, press and hold this scan button. Or I have mine set the programmable button on the side. You just press it. And then you go to bottom band. Skin, begin. Skin, stop. Skin, begin. Skin, stop. One, five, one, six. I'm getting some interference because I've got my cell phone right here and all this other electronics, but it's really not that bad. This radio has, um, it handles uh, interference really, really well. So. Um, as it <laughs> as it show you know static shows up all right but it really does so uh, I get that in this area with my uh, ham radio stuff too but this radio the squelch actually works um, on it so um, and then so within each band the top band or the bottom band you can change modes so down below the band it says mode so right now you can see this shows the frequency and over here it says channel 27. So that's giving you two bits of information and so is the bottom band. So if you change, hit the mode button, it's going to tell you what channel that is on. Repeater 19. That's GMRS repeater channel 19 and you can go in the software I'll do another video on that and change the names and stuff so this is going to give you the channel name whatever the name is instead of frequency and you got the channel 27 you push mode one more time you go to frequency mode so I turned it up so you can hear it so then you can jump I'll go back and explain this real quick but then it goes to channel mode Then you got the frequency and the channel you have the channel name and the channel number frequency mode is VFO um, this is where you can type in a frequency whatever lies within the, the scan range of this uh, frequency range of this radio. And let's just type in One, four, six, five, two, zero. that is the ham radio simplex. Um, so if there's ham radio traffic on that, and it will not 
will not transmit, but it'll let you receive. So VFO mode, that, so that's where you're at. So you can have, um, just type in a, any old frequency that you want, which is kind of neat. Or say someone wants to go to um, uh, GMRS channel 1 or whatever or something, um, and you want to listen in, you can just type that frequency in. Or even ham radio repeaters, uh, EMS fire, you can do all of those things. So that's your VFO mode. Then you go back to the channel mode. This is kind of silly to me. I don't like this, but all GMRS, all GMRS are laid out the same way. 1 through 7 is 5 watts. 8 through 14 is shared with FRS. Uh, 15, I believe, through 22 is um, 50 watts and... 23, I could, I might get that wrong here. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, so 22. So 23 through 30 is repeaters, channel 30. And you can see how they're labeled there. And then you go back to GMRS 1. So yeah, um, but if you just, sorry, if you say you're on, let's just go to channel 7 or whatever, right, uh, or 6 or whatever, you can see that, really simple, but I like to know what I'm talking on, because right here you go up to 23 and you know you don't know those are repeaters see what I'm saying so you go to mode and it'll tell you this at least this mode will tell you you're on a repeater then you're that's GMRS that's just simplex so then at least that mode you know you're on a repeater um, but I personally like this one where I am familiar with the um, channels like 23 through 30 are repeaters and um, you know so on but it gives me the actual frequency that's just me but this is a good way to do it too right here at least you know if you're on a repeater and you don't care about the frequency that's fine say repeater 16 on channel 24 well, let's go to mode and it'll say repeater 16 is 462.575 on channel 24 so you got that I mean it's it's kind of confusing until you mess with it same thing on the bottom band you can do modes you got your frequency mode as well uh, let's just, for example, do the 146. You got the uh, VFO mode again. Frequency mode is what they refer to it as. And there you got your frequency plus channel. So, I like that, personally. So, yeah. Then you go up and down between the bands. Um, let's see, there's some all kinds of different menu options in this thing. Oops. You can scroll through and mess around with all of these things. And you can change this. Let's see. Scan group A. So, let's go to scan group. Oops. Scan group A, right? So, you're going to scan all. And scan group B. I'll go into um, the software program and show you guys some in more in-depth stuff on that. Priority scan channel. 
uh, you can turn party scan on or off and then you go up here to priority channel say you have a simplex channel you guys like and it happens to be on channel 3 you can choose channel 3 as your primary channel and when you scan it's going to scan you see how it's doing that 612 it keeps showing up it goes back to that let's see if it shows up something different in the uh, in the mode you can see how it's going back and forth to channel 3 that's your priority channel so every second or whatever it is it's going back to channel 3 to make sure it doesn't miss any traffic on that um, that's kind of cool so let's do uh, turn that priorities channel off and tone scan tone save step Roger B timeout timer scan Compander, you want to turn that on. It's like compression gives you better audio. You got your side keys on there. I did a bunch of other things, but uh, in that other video about this radio, but I just wanted to talk to you guys mostly about the um, the areas, the top area, area A and area B, kind of how they work. I don't know if I, hopefully I explained that okay. But the KG935G is an excellent radio. I highly recommend this thing for serious GMRSers. And GMRS is a heck of a gateway to amateur radio. And this is this radio is quality radio like a lot of the ham radios you're going to see. So you won't be disappointed with it. All right. Thanks for subbing. I appreciate it. That's the best way to uh, help me out. Uh, I don't have affiliate links for this, but you can get these at buy 2 radios, uh, twoayradios.com. Tell them that I sent you. Maybe they'll send me some radios or something to review. I want to I want to uh, review the uh, the mobile um, Walsh and KG1000. I want to review that. Um, if they want to send me that, that's cool. If not, I'll have to save up and buy that one. So, um, but tell them you I sent you. And I uh, appreciate it, you guys. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.